Just get donuts right now. Okay. So, well, um, that's out of the way. Let's begin. So, all right. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. So had a little bit of issues there. We're gonna be getting to this match. Um, looks like they kind of agreed on Thunder Point. So. Yeah, so Thunder Point is one of those stages where it's probably one of the most balanced starter stages like in the game, and also, uh, it's, you know, it's it's a very like it's a popular favorite. So a lot of people choose this like at the beginning of a set, or they choose it later in a set to kind of you know get like a fair um, win. And it looks like Condona kind of high rolled those first two cards so that Octavio into the the Cali. That was a really good. That is very interesting to, to be exact. So now they're going to play some defense overall. And what do you know? It looks like they block each other's path. Yeah, I, I feel like it's very... Excuse me. I feel like it's very difficult to, like, block on Neverdrift. Or not... What is this? This is Neverdrift. I feel like it's very difficult to block on this map specifically because you can reach mid so quickly with just, like, a big card. Um, you really want to focus on that defensive aspect on, on Thunder Point as much as the aggressive aspect. And, uh, Indeed. yeah, it looks like Sister Star- Oh my god, what? Are we seeing an aggressive special from- Oh my goodness, I never see it. <laughs> Good job, I've Sister seen it Star. entirely. No, nope. yeah, no one- Not even the- so I, I don't see a lot of experienced oh. players do that. That was very good- Very, very good awareness from Star. Um, Indeed. actually, Don't specialing nice. a- Sorry. Um, specialing a, uh, a small card to actually breach into, um, excuse me, into Condona's base, which- is really funny because um, a lot of the CPUs actually do that, but not a lot of real players do that. When it's, in fact, like you know, it could be a really good play and it could save your butt. <laughs> in a Sometimes tight piercing through with that earliest special attack definitely does change the game. That exactly. Easily. Yeah, I feel like that's why um, Spoltana Wiper is so good as a card is because you can do plays like that, right? Like the early special attack, like you mentioned, but it's also good for so many other things. So indeed, as well. Wow, okay, you know, so Condona is high rolling so many cards right now, playing the Goldie in the back, potentially setting up for a combo. Even could yeah, Condona is setting up a combo because we all know for a fact Condona has a tent attack and is able to farm. Right, well I don't know that. I, yeah, I'm not watching. Uh I'm already yeah, watching. I'm not watching. Yeah, you'll have to tell me what cards are in their hand, but no, I think it's really yeah. interesting. So Kadona's ranks Oh you know what Kadona should have done? Kodono should have played what? Tent Attack right next to that one special. Oh, they, yeah, like, yeah, he could have... Um, that would have been it. Yeah, they could have special attacked that. that, and it would have been um much better. But, you know, probably not seeing that play like we did. So, so what like was I going to say? Turn mark. I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, this is oh, best of three, like guys. Turn mark. This is winner's round one, so this will be a best of three match. Um, then we'll be moving to Star looks like she's in. It looks like Sister Star is in trouble by now. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, Condona, even though they did some smart plays, uh, they kind of got unlucky with their opening hand, and they've had to pass, like, over two times now, so it's really looking not too good. Star has no specials, special points to play a 312. Um, yep, Condona's gonna use, be using that early Trizuka, and they're over 40 well, points it, ahead. it's over. It's yeah, over it's, basi right it's basically over. Um, the there, only thing no Star way to can catch do... Up. Yeah, the only thing Star can do is play the Sprinkler. Um, <laughs> can't really do too much else. What I think, well, what I think was interesting is that Condona is uh, is actually Engopolis Rulers. They have every single card sleep in the game, so they're at least rank 50, right? While uh, Star has played, you know, this is their sixth table turf match, so they're completely new to this. I think it's kind of an interesting dichotomy um, as we're kind of transitioning into the the map. But, uh... Kadona's gonna take round one for now. So it looks yeah, like we're one. hoping to yeah. see that Sister Star can make a comeback in both round two and three. Yeah, I also don't see a 312 in Star's deck, which doesn't surprise me too much. Maybe they're not aware of 312s being in, like, used in the endgame. Especially for Kadona. Kadona has a Trizuka as their pretty much only right, yeah. special Yeah, card. so if you have a 312 and the other opponent and the other player doesn't, you have such a big advantage because that's a 24 point swing. That's a 24 point swing um, at the end of the game with even one. And if you have two 312s, it's a 48 point swing. So, uh, yeah. Um, the other kind of thing, too, is that. A lot of the 312s or the multiplayer special cards, um, they are rare cards. So you, uh, 
you can't just like get them really easily. They're kind of harder to get, right? Um, Especially and if you want to farm them. Uh, yeah. So because they're rares, they cost sixteen bits to buy, or not sixteen bits, fifteen bits. Fifteen. Fifteen. Basically, yeah, yeah. about about three fives worth. Yeah, it's like commons are five bits to craft, rares are fifteen, and freshes are forty. Yeah. Again, I would love to see a table to where you can just buy card packs with cash. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, I think the leveling system is pretty interesting. It looks like we are... Okay, Jack is helping them with the stage striking process. Thank you, Jack. Um, Thanks, Jack. Thank you. You are helping the new players in this community. screen again. Yeah, um, it's fine. It doesn't really matter what commentary style we do, whatever like more. I've done Looks many like different... going on styles. the Main Street, you know? Yeah, so Main Street, pretty easy... Pretty, uh, I'd say a pretty normal, like, counterpick, or just kind of second stage. Um, again, it's a very neutral stage. This one is so universally liked. There's a couple of distra distra distractors. There's a couple of detractors who- Oh my Ooh, god, that's really, Marie du that's really I've seen funny. a Callie Marie duo here. Yeah, I, I never- like they're playing on opposite sides. Right, I don't think I've seen that that opening specifically. It's a really funny opening from both players. The Squid Sisters, who are actually playing in the, the Splatfest right now. <laughs> um, in the Indeed. plaza. Those who have DLC, of course. Yeah, fun fact, um, you actually can't fight the the band members in the Table Turf single player. Um, canonically, you can't fight them. Or actually, because, unless you uh, switch plazas. There is a, yeah, there is a solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't fight them because uh, they're in the Splatfest, which I think is kind of a neat touch. Um, that was also a really good splatter skill from Breach from Star. Um, that was really Impressive good. Breach. Yeah, because uh, they were able to touch the corner there. Um, and able to r fully reach into um, Condona's base. And Condona also had to waste their 312 for this map, which I assume they're not running. Uh, okay, wow. Uh, so playing, that's a new one. So playing both of their 312s normally, um, I guess they have no other options. Um, I, I, I believe I, so. I guess. Well, it looks like Squeezer has taken down Blaster. Right. And, and if left. you have to play, if you have to play both of your three twelves like this early, you must have gotten some of the worst RNG possible. Because usually you play those towards the end of the game, um, or at least one of them is a early. nightmare. Right. Yeah. It's um. I, some of the best players can still suffer from having bad hands or bad pulls or whatever, or not getting a specific card they want until the last turn. Uh, this game you're gonna be... get bricked that easily. Oh, right, yeah, but this could be nice breach. Nice kind of flank there from Condona. But the thing is, um, this has been a very aggressive game for both sides. And uh, Condona is just slowly running out of space right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, indeed. Especially with that one special point. Right, like this is, is going to be struggling gonna be a, by now. Yeah, it's going to be a... Okay, so we're going to be playing that machine in mid and be taking that space well. I mean, that's the thing, though. Like, what can Condona play? Like... I don't see anything. I'm not well, it really... It looks like Condona's gonna play a Splat Bomb, just oh, to farm for more specials. Yo, nice, nice play there. So that's another thing that the CPUs kind of do, is they'll they'll play a small card. Um, they'll play a small card, and they'll actually waste a special point, special attacking that small card to activate a bunch of other special points. Um, that's kind of a Indeed. common strategy when... Kodona's gonna you... pass on that E lead of 4k scope, so I'm hoping... Yeah, that's, that's gonna uh... be a big pass. Kodona's gonna play is... bi uh, Harmony. Right, the thing is, Kodona has 5 special, and even if... Even if Star is able to play this hero shot for some reason, um, Kodona's just gonna be able to clap back with a 312. Um, again, Star doesn't probably know that 312 is gonna come so... back with that. I don't um, think Condona's gonna come back with that. Yeah, though. a three eight versus a five fifteen is going to be pretty. I mean, that, wow, that's gonna be a big clash win. But again, it's a oh. one point difference, and that's the thing. Played all those cards, and uh, that's gonna be wow. a two zero. Condona just Kodona. squeezed through. <laughs> yeah, looks like Condona did through. squeeze through. Yeah, Condona's able to squeeze through there barely. Um, <laughs> That is a very squeeze. weird match. It was one of the weirdest mainstream matches I've watched in a while, but Condona's going to take that 2-0. We're going to be going to round two very soon, everyone, so uh, don't go away. We're going to be going to a very...